Hi mamas, I'm Shen and welcome back to my channel at Mama Banana where I share hacks, tips and reviews on products made just for mamas. So today I'm going to show you a really cool mom hack. I'm going to show you how to make your own vest extender using old vests for your baby. Okay, and if you watch until the end of the video, I'm going to show you an even cooler hack on how to make an extendable vest extender. Okay, if you'd like to see more content like this, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and I would love for you to subscribe to my channel by clicking that button down here if you haven't done so already. Okay, so to get started, all right, when we're picking the vest we want to cut up, you want to make sure it's one that's of good quality. You need the material to be kind of thick so that it'll be hard wearing. You're going to put in all this time to stitch it up. You want to make sure you can use it over and over again for as long as possible. And then as well as that, this is the most important thing. Uh, in my trial, there's at least three different size poppers, okay? So when you've picked the vest that you want, you want to test it on a good view of your vest to make sure that the snaps fit within, okay? okay so you'll assess how long you want your vest extender to be. I only need a slight bit of extension, but you need to leave about, um, we'll say three centimeters additional fabric so that you can overlap the top and bottom for stitching purposes okay so i've just drawn some grid of lines here basically this is where i'm going to cut out the fabric the edge here here and here and then within the edges here i've drawn a line about centimeters in so that's where I will be stitching okay it's just because I have difficulty stitching straight and if you have difficulty stitching straight there's a tip for you there and then I'm also going to draw a line across where I'm going to stitch again it is just to help me keep a straight line when I am stitching and then start cutting I find for me the best way to cut straight is to fold the fabric along the line perfection look how straight that is it's very hard to cut not jagged when you just cut straight like that but when you fold the fabric it's so much straighter Okay, so now you separate this and you overlap and stitch. Now I don't have pins for tacking with, okay, so I'm going to tack this together with a sewing needle. And I'm actually going to trim off the excess fabric at the side. Now here is another tip for you, okay, as I'm taking out my thread I have lip balm in my sewing kit this is an old crappy lip balm that I don't like that I like to coat on my threads with um, by doing this it just makes it less likely for your thread to knot as you are sewing okay just makes it a bit smoother so now I'm going to sew along the lines here and when I get to the edges I'm going to sew along the lines that I've marked here to keep my stitching straight. And here is the finished vest extender in action. So I just started off over here I did a very simple quick stitch called a tacking stitch I think just across here just keep everything in place and then I hemmed the edges up and down went back across hemmed up and down back up and tied it off here and then I hit the stitch up in here but there we go perfect for cloth diapering mamas and also for any mamas to help get that bit more out of the vest that they love and now for the hack on how to make an extendable vest extender the hack is to make two vest extenders and to attach them to each other so my daughter is playing with this one right now but I have a vest extender attached to the top of her vest and one at the bottom and now I just connect these two if I can with one hand but if I can't you get the idea. Oh, it's 
See the things you can do one handed when you're a mother. And that's how you make an extendable fest extender. If you have the time, you can make these fest extenders really tight together so that it can have something really customized. If they're really tight together and you have three or four of these, then you can slowly make your vest grow longer and longer. With the top here, I was thinking if you have a sewing machine, you can tuck this in and then sew it and turn it into a little t-shirt. Or maybe you can make turn it into a t-shirt for a teddy bear or turn it into a teddy bear itself. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any ideas what to do with this leftover top half. It's just, it's too cute to waste. They're so small, so tiny. You want to keep every little bit that you can. While on the topic of vests, I want to share this really cool vest with you. So my firstborn, Haley, she was super colicky. She did not like being manhandled and it was always a nightmare trying to dress her. So we had these fold over vests. So when we go to dress her, we'd have her um, onesie or baby grow up and out and down. And then we have the vest laid out and up and out like this so that we could just pop her straight in, pop her little arms through. So we could just fold this over, pop these buttons here, fold this over, pop the buttons and she'd be dressed. We didn't have to lift her, put her head over. She absolutely hated that and cried so much. So these vests were a lifesaver. If this is something that you would find helpful, I will try to find a link for it in Amazon and include a product link in my description box down below. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and I would love for you to subscribe to my channel by clicking the button down below. So until the next video, stay safe, stay sane. Thank you and goodbye.